Bengaluru-based Tanbo Imaging has showcased its indigenous electro-optical products to the Indian Army's training command. New Space Research and Technologies has chosen to partner with Forge for the high-altitude pseudo-satellite platform. Godrej Aerospace has achieved a significant milestone by developing a high-temperature brazing process crucial for aero engine performance for the first time in India. French Navy's Aquitaine-class frigate has made a port call to Kerala. Zimbabwe has ordered 12 Super Musac trainer aircraft from Pakistan. The DRDO is all set to fabricate injection assembly and flame holder for liquid fuel ramjet of the Star Supersonic target missile. A training delegation of Jordan Armed Forces has made a maiden visit to Southern Naval Command Kochi. On their way to South China Sea, three Indian Navy warships have made a port call at Singapore. BSF has shot down seven illegal Pakistani drones in last 24 hours along the border. While the Hindustan Aeronautics HLFT-42 Next Generation Supersonic Trainer captured attention during the Aero India 2023, but the program seems to be facing delays, as negotiations between HAL and the Air Force regarding the final configuration of the aircraft and the engine are yet to be concluded. HAL plans to move forward with an initial prototype by utilizing internal funds, but HAL is not prioritizing this program, which means that its rollout is not expected before 2030. The two shortlisted contenders Nivantia and Tissencrip Marine Systems are offering submarines without built-in vertical launch system, that will leave the six Project 75i submarines without the capability to deploy the BrahMos submarine-launched cruise missiles. BrahMos Corporation is developing the BrahMos NG variant, that can be launched from a torpedo tube, which could make it compatible with all submarines including the Project 75i, but the restricted range of 290 km will result in reduced standoff operational capabilities. Integration of BrahMos submarine-launched cruise missiles with Project 75i might require modifications like an additional plug, that will result in additional costs. Airbus is set to showcase its Eurofighter Typhoon A330 refuelers and A400M military transport aircraft to the Indian Air Force at the upcoming Tarang Shakti Multination Air Exercise, in a bid to win MRFA deal, as well as contracts for refuelers and medium transport aircraft. The demonstration will take place alongside the exercise in Tamil Nadu in August, which presents a unique opportunity for Airbus to impress Air Force officials. The Executive Vice President of LNT Defence has said, that the Zerawa Light Tank project is one of the fastest light tank development programs globally, moving from conception to rollout in just 18 months. He also said, that the light tank is presently undergoing internal company trials in Gujarat, for evaluating the tank's performance and identifying areas for improvement after which it will proceed to summer trials and high-altitude trials conducted in collaboration with the Indian Army. Today's Top 3 Comments Omar Dragic.